Here is the solution for question 23. It says, show that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So when we say bisect, that means that these two sides, let's say here we have a point, right? Let's say they bisect, that means AQ is equals to QC and OQ equals to QB for the given parallelogram O, A, B, C, right? That is what we need to prove. Now the approach which we have adopted here is that let them not bisect. Let us say that this is not the midpoint of AC. Let us say the midpoint of AC is Q and the midpoint of OB is P. So that means if the midpoints are different, well, they will definitely intersect the diagonals, but we are saying that they don't bisect, right? So, so our assumption here is, we are saying let Q be midpoint of AC. That is what we are saying. That means they are bisecting at a point and let me call this point as, let me say, at present, let's say E, okay? Let's actual point be E, right? And we are saying E is different from the midpoint of the diagonals. That is what we are saying, right? In any case, so let Q be the midpoint of AC. So in that case, AQ will be equals to QC, correct? After the direction is same, and when we say Q is the midpoint, then we are saying their magnitude is also same, correct? So that's what we're trying to say, right? Now, so that is what we have. Similarly, we'll do for the other diagonal also. We'll say let P be the midpoint of OB, not E, which is the point of intersection. And then OP is equals to PB, right? So we are starting by saying that the diagonals don't bisect and then let's see what happens, right? So that is the kind of approach. Now, we say from here OQ is equal to what? We say OQ is equal to, so OQ is equals to OA plus AQ, right? OA plus AQ, right? And what is AQ? AQ is half of AC, right? So we could write this as OA plus half of AC, correct? The diagonal AC, right? Half of AC. Now what is AC? I can write A to C as OC minus OA, right? So I'll write this as OA is equals OQ equals to OA plus half of AC is like starting from here, ending there, right? So OC minus OA. Correct? So that is how we get this part. Now if you do your map, OA minus half of OA will give you half OA, correct? So I can write this as half of OC plus OA. So OA minus half OA, right? OA minus minus half OA gives you plus OA, half. So we can get this. So we have proved that O to Q is actually half of O to C plus O to A, correct? That's what we have proved. Now let's start with the other side. And we will follow the same approach, right? So the approach here is, again, let P be the midpoint of OB, right? If P is midpoint, then OP is equals to half of the diagonal OB, right? Now, that means half OB is equals to OC plus CP. O, B 
is OC plus CB, right? And now we can write this as half of, so we'll do the same thing, right? So, which is same as half of OC plus OA. Correct? Because CB, we know is a parallelogram, right? So this side is parallel to OA, correct? CB is parallel. And since it is a parallelogram, these sides are also equal. Isn't that so? And therefore, CB is same as OA. So what do we get? We get OP is same as OQ. Why? Because half of OC plus OA, let me get back to the first equation. So this is our first equation. We say OQ, O to Q is equal to half of OC plus OA. And now we are saying OP is half of OC plus OA. So from 1 and 2, what we say is OQ is equal to OP. Correct? So OQ is equal to OP. That simply means that these, these two points are same points, right? And that is possible. If they are same points, they have to lie on both the diagonals, right? So P and X are the same points. That means that they are on the intersection of diagonals, right? So this implies that this Q actually and P actually should be at E. Do you understand? So that means they lie on intersection. of diagonals. So that means Q should be at this position, right? This is only possible, this is only possible if our assumption is wrong and if P and Q are actually on the intersection of both the diagonals, right? And if that is so, we know P and Q were the midpoints and therefore the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, right? I hope you understand and appreciate the method follow, right? So here we start with a contradictory system. Let it not intersect in the center. Let the midpoints be different. And we showed, well, that is not true. We found that those two points are same. That means the midpoints are same, not different, correct? So that is the approach with which we have solved. I hope you enjoyed and liked it. Thanks and all the best.